The New York Jets are at home for Week 11. How in the world is it already Week 11? Taking on the Miami Dolphins, coming in feeling a little swaggy. How's two wins in a row sound, especially when the second was against the Ravens and involved Tua coming in off the bench to help lead them to that dub. It's been good to see him come into this game and do what he's done. It was yet another Dante situation. Tunga Vailoa wasn't even supposed to be there. He too was supposed to have the day off. But the finger wasn't that bad. He went 8 for 13 on over 12 yards per attempt, rating over 100, most of his work coming in the fourth quarter. Tua throws wide open. Now he takes on a Jets defense that didn't have many answers to Josh Allen last week through the air and haven't had many answers to any QB they've faced in 2021. So Tua could keep his mojo going. To the end zone, Diggs has it. Touchdown. The Jets can hope their pass rush can make an impact. Miami's O-line did give up four sacks to the Ravens and for the year have allowed over two and a half a game. Tua gets hit, balls out. Gang Green doesn't sport a great pass rush, but they can apply some pressure through the middle at times. Speaking of pass rushes, the Dolphin pass rush played a huge role in their ability to contain Lamar and has played a big role in their last two victories. Jackson wrapped up back at the 44. They got to Jackson four times and hit him seven. They have one of the higher QB hit totals of any team, and they love to blitz. Lamar Jackson almost lost the football on top of it, and a loss of seven. Typically, the guy that's hitting or hurrying those QBs, Emmanuel Ogba. He leads them in sacks, QB hits, and hurries. Yeah, he's going to go down anyway. Ogba again, who already has been in on a couple of sacks. That's the one-on-one, -on -one or one-on-two to watch in this game, Ogba versus the Jets' tackles. New York has allowed their QB to be buried plenty this year. Body crunched underneath him. All the pressure. Pressure Miami generated against Jackson made a big difference to their secondary, which hasn't played great overall, but they held Jackson to 5.5 yards per attempt, rating under 75. End zone picked off! This game is over! That's two in a row they've contained a passing attack to 5.5 an attempt, and they now have four INTs in their last two games. It was floating and Javon Holland, the rookie, floated over to pick it off. The QB they're going after. Black on third and short. This is Moore, first down, and he is in for the Jets' touchdown. With the way the season has unfolded in the AFC, Dolphins winning three in a row would put them back in the playoff picture. But if we've learned anything this year, there are no guarantees no matter who you're playing. Fill up the comments section with your predictions. We'll fill the screen with ours. Bunch of savages in this town.